Back in 1991, November of 1991, uh, you got a call from Wendell Stevens, and Wendell wanted to come up to from Tucson, Arizona, up to here in Las Vegas, and uh, have you assist him in helping find something pertaining to the UFO question. In that case, related to the Connor Orion case, uh, uh, a man who claimed to be an S4 sentry uh, who was uh, discharged for medical reasons and who had gone down to Tucson, Arizona to speak with Wendell and basically tell him his story. Um, he felt like he was being pursued by Delta Force and um, he gave a map to a locker in a bus station and a key and said, you know, go there and uh, find these photos. I want you to kind of recall as much of that, uh, your participation and trying to assist Wendell in finding this set of photos in a locker uh, back in November 1991. Yeah, he said there at, uh, on the phone that there was photos, uh, information, he needed to get it, he wanted to ride. <clears throat> I said I'd pick him up at the airport, which I did, and we went down, we found the exact bus station, the Greyhound bus station, found a place to park, and uh, started looking around for the the, um, uh, the key number, and none of the key numbers matched. And poor Wendell, he was going nuts because he had the key, he knew the information was in there, he just had to find the, the right locker. And so finally, I, after a half an hour of looking, we got to one of the uh, uh, supervisors there and we said uh, we can't find the uh, the locker for this key and he said oh they, they, they were all changed uh, about two weeks ago and uh, so that's when we gave up I knew if it had been two weeks before that somebody knew those pictures were there what did so, you end up doing with Wendell the rest of the I think I took him back to the airport. Yeah, it was that quick. Mm -hmm. He came up, you guys went to the bus station, the locker wasn't there, and uh, and then you took him back. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm 